Hi hey guys, um, cricket again, game I went to, I had my doubts, <laughs> and this was my first ever journey to the Huddersfield League, 28th of August 2011, I went again with Mike, um, to this match, Premiership game, Huddersfield League, Open League, pay as many players as you want, get who you want. So we went to a place called Hoyland's Wayne, which is near Sheffield. They play in the Huddersfield League and the, the visitors that day were Delph and Dobcross. Now, in, in subsequent years, Aaron Lilly from Lancashire has played for Delph. He wasn't playing in this game. He doesn't play for them now. Uh, he plays for Lancashire. But if I just run through the teams very quickly, um, Hoyland's Wayne, the home team, they won the toss elected to bat. And they had uh, John Sadler, who's played 66 games for Derbyshire, first class. Calvin Flowers, who's played three or four games for KwaZulu Natal in South Africa. Then they had Alex Morris, who's played 62 first class games for Hampshire and Yorkshire. Mike Cramner, all rounder from South Australia, played a couple of first class games. Gary Montgomery has um, played three first class games for Lancashire. And he's a goalkeeper in, in the lower leagues, or he was previously. Uh, I think for Coventry and uh, teams at that level, sort of League One as it is now. They also had a young guy called Ben Potter who was up and coming, uh, and a chap called Chris Schofield, not the England leg spinner, another Chris Schofield who's played some Yorkshire second team games. So they're a good side. Uh, and in the Delft side, uh, Irfan Zahu has played five first class games. Bruce Cruz is a league legend. Faisal Butts played eight first class games. Bilal Kilji has played 169 first-class games. And, and Adnan Gauss, the bowler, has played 26 first-class games. It's a good game. Loads of first-class players, former first-class players at the time. 2011 this was. Uh, small ground uh, and a little bit of a, an insight into the ground. If you're on the far side of the ground from the pavilion, sort of looking at the pavilion, if, you feel, if you're down at the third man, uh, just outside the boundary it's quite small anyway if you're at third man just outside the boundary and you're looking up towards uh, the stumps at the batting end uh, where the wicket keeper is um, you can only see the top half of the stumps that's how much the, the slope is that's how bad the slope is it's really really on a plateau very bad and if you're bowling at the far end uh, sorry, if you're bowling at the near end where you where you where you are down at the opposite of the pavilion, your rest period is the third man. But basically, anything that gets an edge, it's absolutely flying. It's small, so it's a small ground, uh, very vociferous support, lots of um, sort of middle aged and older women screaming and shouting very loudly and uh, and being very. Uh, be, being very particular to their team and, and, and very quite partisan. But we'd ordered a tea. Um, and so let's have a look at this game. Top top of the Huddersfield League. Hoyland's win. Win the toss. Bat first. 45 overs. John Sadler, Derbyshire player. Bats through. 137 that out. Calvin Flowers, South African. 49. A bit more measured. Alex Morris comes in, Yorkshire, Hampshire, a big biffer, big sort of hitter of the world. If you imagine, if you if you know the local cricket, local area, think of Adam Hornby, that type of player, first class player, smashes it, 80 off 50 balls. Hoyland's win, 271 for one, thanks for coming. Uh, Bill Al Kilji, 169 first class games in Pakistan, 13 overs for 60. Uh, and basically, they just all got smashed. Uh, so we went out our tea. We, we we went to the to the little hatch and said uh, we've ordered a tea, and we were about to say what name we were. And the lady said, "Well, nobody owes a teas here, so uh, we've got two orders. We know it's for you guys." And we said, "Oh, what is tea? Well, it's plated up. There you go. Here's a cup of tea. Go and eat it. Don't forget to bring your plates back. Uh, and by the way, you'll need to buy a raffle ticket. It's a pound each." And you can't have your tea till you bought your raffle ticket. Brilliant. So, so we bought a raffle ticket each. We didn't win. Nobody won. Uh, nobody wins the raffle. That's, that's just how it goes. So Delft batted. 
272 to win 45 overs we thought oh, that's going to be a bit of a stretch uh but small ground Zahua opens the batting with Bruce Cruz league legend um Zahu was out first on scores on 157 and he's out first for 91 eight sixes and six fours 64 balls uh, and Bruce Cruz is, is in there still on 55 he's out shortly after and then they've had such a good start that the people coming in just need to nudge it around so they cruised to the to the win with five wickets down and over left um, and some of the bowling figures, Mike Cranmer, he, he bowls for South Australia in the Sheffield Shield. Uh, nine overs, one for 56. And Gary Montgomery, who plays for Lancashire, eight overs for 39. And Calvin Flowers in South Africa, 15 overs for 77. They absolutely smashed it. The fielding was superb. The whole day was fantastic. It was a bit of a twilight zone uh, and the ground was small. But a visit to Hoyland's Wayne is absolutely recommended. It's the absolute dog's doodars so far as quality of play uh, and great cricket. The scoring system's a bit weird um, in the league. It's still the same now. You may have seen the video when uh, I described um, skulls against Golka in, in a previous video with Wazim Jaffer and Steve Whitwell. It's the same league. So... For winning the game, however you win, you get the most runs, you score five points. Uh, you have to bowl the opposition out to get the, the six points, so you can only get six points. Uh, so on this day, Hoyland's weighing one point for not being out, and Delft five. Amazing day of cricket. It, ten and a half years ago, it seems like yesterday, brilliant day out again. Trouble is, over two hours each way, Huddersfield League, spot on. Videos with the Bradford League to come up. I'm going to review one game that I didn't attend, but it was remarkable, and it was uh, last season, I think. Uh, so look out for that shortly. Thanks very much, guys.